There's a little tiny baby Western Diamondback right there. It's cold. It is mid-January. I can't remember what day it is. I think the I don't know, 18th or something like that. And we are getting some little sprinkles of rain, finally. That sound uh, is one of the fun things about Arizona. <laughs> the number of times you buy windshield wipers and use them one time. These things are just trashed rubber. Uh, I bought them in September and uh, this is the first rain they've seen and they're already ruined. Not a ton of rain, but uh, enough to where stuff's gonna start getting excited. I'm going to get something to eat and I'm just gonna go ahead and move myself to where uh, I think snakes are gonna come up and wait and freeze my ass off because it is 43, 44 degrees right now. It's gonna be an interesting day. It is not warm out, but I'm ready for it. I brought all kinds of coats and hand warmers and stuff. Uh, the rocks are dry. The road is super wet, though. I'm not seeing any snakes. Um, not yet. Okay, there we go. That's my first rattlesnake of the year right there. My first snake of the year. I also haven't gone looking. So this was enough rain. I don't know how many snakes are here, but I'm gonna get a photograph of this one and move on. I'm gonna get some data too. It is interesting how cold it is right now. And we're seeing rattlesnakes on the surface. All right, well, I'm over in this other spot now and uh, it's feeling just as dry as it ever has been. It rained here about an hour and a half ago now. And it's like it never happened. The sand is just dried dust. I can't imagine being an animal out here. This is why they come out when there's any water. I mean, it's just desperation. A rattlesnake does not want to come out when it's in the low 40s and sit there. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to the car. Think about what's next. Okay, change of plans. Uh, it's raining somewhere. So instead of sitting here waiting for the rain to maybe get here, I'm gonna go out west and see if I can find just something new. Just try to look for something from the road and uh, hope for the best. I think if I stay here, it's gonna be one of those days where I'm just hanging around all day and nothing happens. Okay, I left town. I'm way out west now. It's soaking wet out here. There's gonna be snakes moving out here. I, I think that there's a really interesting natural history note in here, a scientific publication about about this, about things that people don't expect, uh, like snakes out when it's this cold out, and also just knowing for a fact that they would do this even if it was nighttime, it was the middle of the night, it was 35, it would still come out. I think that's really interesting and it changes the way that you might think about snakes. Okay, okay, I just saw something I gotta try out. It's something I've driven by a billion times over the years and every time I think, one of these days, that, that might be a den, I should check it out. Today's the day, let's go see. This is a, an area I'm in all the time and I've just never looked over and saw this isolated rock pile before. Let's see, I gotta pick up my kid in five hours. Let's see what we can do. Any guesses what this is? This is a designer dog of some kind. I don't know what, like a pug or something like that with an underbite. What gets us excited about isolated rock piles are gonna have lots of desert all the way around them without the same opportunities for snakes to overwinter or spend the summer or whatever. So the more isolated the site is, the more likely it is to be an important and rare opportunity for snakes to overwinter. It makes it so that it is irresistible. So a standard rock pile like the one we're about to go visit might not really seem all that impressive. In another environment, snakes might not care about it at all. But here, in this place, in this time, with all the just flat, empty desert around it, uh, it becomes 
very important. And considering what's around here, which is nothing, uh, there's going to be some animals using this. Of course, there's a lot of shotgun shells around. There always are in places where uh, people might see snakes. Whether I see anything out here today or not, I'm sure something's here and using it. Well, that's a new one. Hey, kitty. I don't see a collar on it. That's a feral, so. <sighs> There's a lot of them out here. There's another big feral cat that just came running out of here, so that could be a problem for having rattlesnakes here. That does not say much good about potential for intact wildlife using this spot. Okay, there we go. There's a little tiny baby western diamondback right there. This a little teeny tiny guy in his rain coil. Well, that's cool. I mean, if he's here, there's going to be some others. They just might not be in huge numbers because of the cats and people shooting, but that is a good sign. So I'm going to get some photos. On the next spot, the rain has stopped a little bit, but I think it's going to pick up again. And a bonus on top of everything is I get to go pick up my kid later from school. <laughs> Completely soaking wet and full of mud. Never too uh, too early to start embarrassing your kids. <sighs> All right, let's go find some snakes. Perfect. Boy, that's fun. So a rock pile like this normally is excellent. I'm just gonna spend five seconds here before getting out of here. Oh, oh, hey. There's a diamondback right there. Okay, well this is <laughs> a worthwhile stop. I mean, a good good habitat's good habitat. That's fine. All right, well, I'm gonna leave right there. All right, I'm gonna get some shots of this and get some data and get back on the road. That was, that's cool to be right, I guess. <laughs> Just pick up one random spot out of nowhere and there's a snake there. I guess it makes sense. I wasn't gonna stop. I mean, I drove past them on the way in. I wasn't gonna stop. There's another one up here. The rocks are way too small though. See, these kinds of rock piles like this, this is very much like what people put around their properties for erosion control. There's a time back right there. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's cold. I'm sorry, I'll leave it alone. I do have to get some data though. I'm gonna do that real fast. Yeah, I walked all the way around the outside, I didn't see anything else, but not exactly the natural environment here, but I bet I can find something. We'll see. And just like that, uh, I think it's over. The sun's out now, and the animals are not gonna wanna immediately start losing the little bit of moisture they just got. So typically, as soon as this happens, they just start going in. Two seconds after I say that, there's a diamondback right there. Skinny, not in the sun, but there is a diamondback. So yeah, I guess this is a den. Three new dens for me today. Well, that is that. Happy with the number of snakes I saw. Uh, the rain is gone. It's just back to sunny Arizona again for who knows how long. Um, there were some reports of, you know, maybe some more rain this week, but that's not how it works. It's not going to happen. And we're down in our last few days of winter weather before I'm going to need to be uh, active every day in the spring. So here we go.